America's first vice president, John Adams, once said to his wife, Abigail, the office of the vice presidency is the most insignificant office that ever the invention of man contrived or his imagination conceived. Harry Truman called the vice presidency about as useful as a cow's fifth teat. Nelson Rockefeller says the vice president was just standby equipment. Walter Mondale called the job the fire hydrant of the nation. But it wasn't what the vice president did in office. It was what they did to get in there. When JFK desperately needed the Southern vote, it was Lyndon Johnson who helped carry it home. When Jimmy Carter, a long shot, one term Georgia governor, needed the backing of the Washington establishment, he picked Walter Mondale, who came with decades long experience under his belt. And when black freshman Senator Barack Obama needed a white guy familiar with foreign policy, he tapped Joe Biden. But now, Joe Biden's the one who needs help. We are holding their election in the palm of our hands, and they're not listening. We have no trust in Joe Biden. President Biden's campaign has touted his success on key issues affecting young voters, including student loan forgiveness, lowering unemployment, and tackling inflation. Still, though... I don't feel it. People may be employed, but can they survive? off of it. What could President Biden do to change your mind as far as how you'll vote in November? Call for a permanent ceasefire. If he doesn't get elected, that is his fault. That's not our fault. That's not the black voters here. That's not X, Y, and Z. No, it's, it's on him. But it was never supposed to be on Joe Biden. Kamala Harris was supposed to help win Biden the young and black vote. At least that's what Biden thought when he picked her. But he's sleeping until noon while his base collapses. And everyone's looking around and thinking, where's Kamala? She's not looking for root causes at the border, and we know she's not building electric car charging stations. Johnny gets it. Who's this? I don't know. Who is that? I know she's a black woman. I don't know who that is. Who the is that? How's Kamala doing? Kamala? Harris, dude. How proud are you of Kamala Harris? All she does is laugh. What has she done for my community? Kamala Harris loves her electric buses. We don't need that, Kamala. She loves a lot of things. She don't love her people. So where is she? Well, after they pulled her off the college tour because of Hamas protesters, we found her hanging out with suburban white women from Bravo. Let's dip into a little workplace gossip, if okay. you will. Okay. Who are your favorite coworkers in the cabinet? Who do you have the most fun with? Well, I mean, the person that I definitely have the most fun with is the president. He's fantastic. He's, um, he is, he can be very serious, obviously, but he, he's also got an incredible sense of humor. Biden? An incredible sense of humor? That's what girls say about guys who aren't good looking. He makes me laugh. Right, Greg? You want some more gossip? I have a yeah. very embarrassing story to share. Okay, tell. About... Uh, the president. I'm in Italy with my family and we're at a little cafe on the island of Capri. And I see this man walk by and as he starts to walk by, I was like, I know him. Oh my God. And I scream at the top of my oh lungs my like it's Paul McCartney. And I am like, Joe Biden! <laughs> Full blown psycho oh, that's scream. Fantastic. And he turns around, winks at me and waves. When I saw Joe Biden, I mean, I Totally fame Oh, my girl. God. I'm yes. going to tell him about this, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to say, you know that lady? <laughs> Screaming <laughs> in Capri. Biden's Paul McCartney now. It's like Beatlemania when he walks by. I've covered Biden at Fox for 20 years. I've never seen video of women screaming when he walks by, ever. But nobody likes talking about their boss. Kamala wanted to talk about herself. So the ladies played a little game, an icebreaker. It's called Had It or Hit It. Had it or hit it, astrology. Hit it. You know, um, so I'm a Libra. My husband is a Libra. Um, and it's so funny. He'll talk, Doug, he'll talk about the fact that, that it's the Libra in us where we will sit on the couch in front of the TV with the switcher for like 45 minutes debating which Netflix show <laughs> show we start streaming. And then by the time we're done, we're ready to go to bed. Kamala doesn't watch Netflix. She watches The Five. She saw us do a segment on this. 
no idea. It takes longer than the movie to find the movie. <laughs> and it's like, it's like after a while, it's like, why am I doing this? Yeah. Why am I doing this? Why can't this be better? And they've tried to fix it, but I get so angry when I'm there looking at Netflix, looking at Amazon, looking at Paramount, all this lined up like this. And Kamala's stealing our stuff. Any good shows you've watched? Oh, we, uh, I, you know what I've been watching recently is The Morning Show? Oh, that's so, so good. Now, in case you're wondering what The Morning Show is, Brian Stelter produced it. Kamala watches shows about January 6th in her free time. Had it or hit it went on. Had it or hit it, people taking their shoes off on airplanes. Oh, God, had it completely. <laughs> it's terrible. Awful. And then if they take their shoes off and then cross their legs so that their foot is just dangling right in front of the you. Aisle. It's just, and especially if they're sockless. The sockless people in an airport. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you might have the FAA look we'll into look that. Into that <laughs> yes. yeah, we'll look into that, too. Yeah, we'll look These are the issues that could bring out some We need niche a department voters. of grievances. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we could run it. We have a lot of federal agencies, yeah. but not that one. Department of grievances. We love that idea. But when's the last time Kamala's flown commercial? She has Air Force Two. She's ripping off the five again. Worst uh, dude on the plane is the guy who takes his shoes off and then shoves his um, hairy foot between the um, the seats <laughs> and it's on your armrest this and is... he hasn't trimmed his toenails. I don't want anybody to take their shoes off on the plane. Kamala has more grievances than just bare feet on airplanes. Her job. And I'm going to play my little violin. Okay. <laughs> I don't get to text anymore. I have all these things on my phone that prevent, you know, for the sake of security. Yes. But I used to love our family group text. Like when we would, I mean, it was everything. Like when Wordle first came out, did you get oh, the word? Yes, that's or when, you know, one. like, right? It was just, it was, it was so good. I thought Al Gore was the most boring vice president. Wordle, Netflix, airplane grievances. She's a cliche. Actually, there is one thing unique about her. I am sure that I'm the first vice president to, um, in front of the press, use the word uterus. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't stop there. I said the F word, fibroids. Are you sure Dick Cheney didn't say uterus? Even once? We're checking. But if Kamala wants that title, she can have it. Weird flex, though. Do you want to keep playing? Let's. Had it or hit it, Donald Trump totally had it. And right now, Donald Trump is telling us that he wants to be a dictator. There is no <laughs> dog whistle. It is like a gigantic bark. I don't think it's hyperbolic to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. You're right. Democracy, extraordinarily fragile. Yeah. It's only as strong as our willingness to fight for it. Well, I'll tell you what, Pumps and I are scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> and loud. Don't you feel like you've gotten to know Kamala in a way that you didn't before? Good. Because a vote for Joe Biden is a vote for Kamala Harris. If Joe's reelected, he's not making it another four years. Will the suburban white women get scrappy and put Kamala in the White House? Well, if it goes anything like it did with the black and youth vote, they've had it. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.